I never make those speech and I never held any idea of anti-Christian or anti-Islam or anti-Malay educator or and I say I anti-nobody. Everybody is free to put up his ideas, but if you put up foolish ideas, it is our duty to demolish that idea by argument before that idea takes hold in the people's minds. I inform them, please stop this kind of accusation because these are baseless and this is dangerous. This will incite one religious group against the other. He told me, denounced to the people that he had made the report. So I made a statement. Tang Liang Hong has now made the report to the police. And I was sued. The imputation and findings by the judge also, I think, I think, twisted the plain meaning of the words and certainly twisted the English common law of defamation, which was the basis upon which he came to the conclusion that the Prime Minister had been defamed. So people always said that you are using the libel laws to threaten your well, political rivals. The same laws apply to me. Nobody has ever sued me for libel because I do not defame my enemies. He has never lost a case in Singapore, you know. And he has commenced something like, oh, more than 20 odd cases. And he has won in every one of them. Now let's stop and pause. How is it possible? I can confirm that in my time, in my 10 years on the bench now, 10 years as Chief Justice, um, neither Mr. Lee nor any member of his government has ever even tried to influence me or interfere in any way with my work. You cannot expect to get justice in Singapore where the state of Singapore is involved or any of its ministers.